Today, we are going to explore Mesa Verde National Park for the first time. We want to see the pit houses and cliff dwellings that are so unique to this national park. And Amelia wants to get her Junior Ranger badge. Keep watching to see if we can complete this 30-day road trip for under $10,000. Good morning, travelers. It is a beautiful morning here in Pleasant View, Colorado. And oh my goodness, this beats the heck out of the Utah heat that we've been experiencing. But today, we are going down to Mesa Verde National Park. Got all the kids in the vans all packed up. We're gonna have a little lunch down there and we're gonna go see some, some old ruins, apparently. Y'all excited? Yeah. I'm cleaning yeah. out the van so that it'll be clean. <laughs> You're gonna do what? Clean out the clean van. Clean out the van. You gonna do that later on today? No, I'm doing it right now. Well, we're about to go. Ready to go? So ready. <laughs> she's just not feeling too hot today. She's not been feeling hot for days. Yeah. She's a trooper. Trying. Wants to see these national parks. <laughs> Let's go. Is there another option? Uh, stay home. <laughs> Gotta get our BBSS. Oh yeah. Book. Mom. Badge. Stay Mom. Get our passport. Oh, get our passport. Get some ink. Bump up. Boom. All right. That's our sticker. This was four dollars and twelve cents in your Ranger book. Stopped at the geologic overlook. Kids are using the bathroom, so I'm gonna go check out the overlook. Apparently we are 8,370 something feet up in the sky. Looks like there's a trail all the way up here. I don't know how long it is, but I figured we'd go to the top and see. Did you think that we were gonna go this high up? Imagine if you were here before the road was built. You had to walk up this whole thing. Everything we've been driving. That'd be crazy. Made it to the top. Is that cool? Yeah, how high up do you think we are? Well, coming up here, I saw a sign that said we're 8,300 something. Is that crazy? Is it working? It just blue. It's just blue? Here, look, let me look. Yeah. You see it? Is that cool? I'd like to look too whenever you're done. Can I look? Let me see. There we go. Oh, don't twist it. I had to poke. That's good. That's good. Ready? We're going through the tunnel. You gotta hold your breath. Ready? This one's really Set. It's only 40 seconds. I've been doing some breathing exercises. I mean, if I go underwater, you know, I can hold my breath. Is the pit house okay like it was a, after the death of Jesus so this was built like over 1500 years ago 1500 years ago it's called the pit house is that cool back in so is a pit house where they farmed it's a house built into the ground so they would underneath and then they would make like a, a structure on top structure. yeah I gotcha they go under the ladder okay yeah yeah so this is what the inside would look like right here. Look, they make spears. So I'm assuming the bottom part is just this part right here. And then from there they had sticks or whatever going up that are yeah, long gone cool. now. That's pretty cool. So that's one of the first stops on this drive because it's one of the oldest buildings, uh, archaeological sites that they have here. And throughout this entire loop, there's a podcast that you can download. It's like a walking tour of the entire area. So we're listening to that as we're driving. This is the Square Tower House. So being that it's 2021, we are 2021 years after Jesus's death. Does that make sense? So this was built almost a thousand years ago, right? So like, remember Poverty Point? Ooh. You see the Adventure Mobile down there? Yes. Go, oh, it's way down there. So this is where the bird's head would be. If you look out this way, you can see the wing. If you look out this way, you can see the wing. Mm -hmm. yep. All of that was before Christ. Go. Oh, you so silly. This is an outlook of the square house, right? In a cliff. Oh, wow, look there, I see it. Is that cool? 
That is cool. I would love to know how in the world they got all that material down there to even build that. That is super cool. All right, this is more pit houses in a village that are preserved. And it's nice and covered. Let's go check it out. Is that cool? People used to live down there. Yeah. So there's another one over here. I believe this is the first village. And the idea is that you're comparing the first village to the second village. This one was 850. They would use sticks to make a frame and they'd put this. I guess it's like a, a weave or a mud. Well, it wouldn't know. This would be like a hay. Oh, almost. yeah. But you the outside. Yeah, and then they used mud on the outside. Yeah, that's a, a ventilation shaft. So their fire would be right here. And fire makes a lot of smoke, so the smoke comes up through here and out. I don't think that's what that was. So it's just to create more airflow, right? Yeah. So this next one is called Sun Point Pueblo. And apparently the Pueblo had different clans and one of the clans was called Sun. So I'm assuming that this was their area. So listening, 50 people lived in this area. We're gonna go in here. Oh wow, look how deep this one is. Look over here. Look way down there. Look how far down that is. Would you want to live in there? Yeah, you want to live in there? Mm -hmm. You think it'd be fun? Yeah, you gonna dig a hole like that in our backyard? Yeah, okay. <laughs> you also gotta make the bricks too. You gonna to make your own bricks? I wanna get down. You wanna get down? Okay, get down. Ah, oh, sorry. This one is a sun point view. I think these are cliff dwellings. I do. So like you see way out there underneath that cliff? Yeah. Oh wow. All the dwellings. And look, there's one over there. To the right. And I think that was the other viewpoint. There's probably one, that one we saw over that way maybe. I can't no, we haven't been there actually. Yeah. You see it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like another one. Maybe we should just do this loop again. I think that might be the best bet. Dad. Because we missed that one and that other one. Because this is the one that Jacques didn't want to get out at. Okay, so we just... I'm a future <laughs> I'm joking! <laughs> I think this is the temple. The Sun Temple. This is cool, you can see inside. So we drove a little bit and we found the museum and I believe Amelia can get her Junior Ranger badge there because she finished her book. You excited to get your badge? You did that one. Yep. There you go, and a maze. Ooh, that had a maze in it, that's cool. Mm. Yeah. It's not open. Oh, what? Oh, well, look, there's a park ranger. We can do the, get the badge. Hello. Hello. You did it, awesome. Anyone else or just you? Just her. <laughs> so you did a really nice job on this first page, and especially because, you know, one of the things we ask here is not just to tell us what you shouldn't do in a national park, but why you shouldn't do it. You did a really good job. You said that for all the things, so well done. Thank you. Not everyone gets that second part of the thing. <laughs> all right, and you did a great job helping the Pueblo people find their way home. So I am going to say that you did a really good job. All right. Five did it. Yes. There's a passport stamp. That's a wooden badge. You can stamp that. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> you stamp right all right. You raise your right hand and repeat after me. As a Mesa severity junior ranger, I promise to be a good steward by protecting my severity from non-national park. I'll stay on the trail. I won't feed the wildlife. I won't litter. I'll recycle when I can. I also promise to be nice to other people who may be different from me. I also promise to clean my room. To clean my room. <laughs> and to not argue in the car. <laughs> argue in the car. All right. <laughs> well done. You're the newest Mesa severity junior ranger. Hey, do you want to go put a passport stamp on the back? 
Yeah. All right. Perfect. Ooh, that one's perfect. Got a good one on there. Yeah. Okay. Dip it anywhere. Just like do it anywhere. Real. Ta -da! Good job, Beckett. Hi. So this is another site called the Far View Community. And they have this well-preserved Pueblo area. You can't go inside, but you can definitely see into each area, which is super cool. And I think technically we might be on one of the walls right here. And this is the other village area. It's called the Pipe Shrine House. You can walk all the way around this one. They ask that you do not enter. Dang, I can't even see. Oh. That's pretty neat. So if you could imagine, I would assume this had like a roof on top of it. And this was like its own little village. Each one of these little spots would be where either a family would be or a couple. I'm assuming depending on the size of the family. Maybe storage of different things. Or like little cribs for a babies. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Any of you guys know, man, that's interesting. My get best guess is storage. Maybe like different kinds of grains or corns or something. That's interesting. So I mentioned that Krista wasn't feeling well and she remembered that whenever our friends, the chicks, came here, the, the wife got something called valley fever and we think that's what Krista might have gotten. It's some kind of fungal infection. We're probably gonna go home and rest for a little bit. You guys go and click that video. I'll see you on that video. Thank y'all for watching. Click that video to continue the adventure with us.